Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Are you all ready to do more Japanese today? Well, we have been doing a lot of new things in all these past lessons. We have learnt a lot of things and in some of our previous lessons, we have been doing adjectives and different forms of adjectives and how to join adjectives. So, today we will do how to make negative for I adjectives and Na adjectives. But before that, as you all know, I generally check your assignments. So, that is exactly what we are going to do now. So, well, let us see what we have here for you. Now, fill in the blanks with interrogative words from the brackets. So, well, the answers are in purple. Rao san wa doko ni imasu ka? Dare, donna. Donna, of course, we will do now in the lesson. Dare means who. Mira san wa ashita nani ikutsu nan. Nan and nani mean the same, but nani is used at different places and nan is used with numbers. Ikutsu is how many? Nanji ni gakko e ikimasu ka? Hako ni ikutsu. Tomato ga arimasu ka? How many? Mina san wa mainichi dore gurai benkyou shimasu ka? We just did dore gurai in our previous lesson. Ikura is for how much and doko is where. So, dore gurai approximately for how long benkyou shimasu ka? Rao san no uchi kara eki made ikutsu ikura nanpun kakarimasu ka? So, nanpun. Shumatsu ni donata to isho ni picnic e ikimasu ka? Dore of course is choice between two things and doko means where. Tanaka san no Atarashi shatsu wa ikura desu ka? Sha tsu. Sha tsu. Heya ni nannin ga imasu ka? How many people? Anata no musume wa nansai desu ka? Nanko is for number, nannin is for person. Jimushitsu wa nankai, nansai, nannin, nanji desu ka? So, nankai, jimushitsu is a place, nankai desu ka? Dono hito wa rao san desu ka? Dono hito is again choice between two or three people. So, maybe pointing and asking which one of these two or three people are or is rao san. Dore hito cannot be used because with kore, sore, are and dore, noun is not used. And then dare hito, again hito will not be used over here because dare itself means who. Then as we always do, we have kanji over here. Kanji is in purple and let us see what it is. Okane wa kaba no naka ni arimasu. Bara mo hi mo akai desu. He is fire. Yama no mizu wa oishi desu. Gogatsu wa atsui desu. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? 
友達は映画を見ません私は来年東京へ行きますラオさんは29歳ではありませんわたしは赤いスカートを買いました。It is skirt, not skirt. 田中さんは毎日お母さんと話します。バラも火も赤いです。You can check your answers and then we have another assignment for you. It's a good revision. Some words are written, you know the words, you have done these simple characters, you should be able to write. And of course, for your convenience, hiragana is also given with the kanji characters. Then read the conversation A and B, and then you have to make the question over here. So, well, あそこの喫茶店のコーヒーはどうですかおいしいです。If it was おいしい over here, then the answer would have been はいおいしいです。この本はあなたのですかはい、私のです。この本は誰のですかはい、will not be there。私のです。So, please, You have to read the answer first and then make the question. あなたの学校はどこですか私の学校はあの団地の後ろにあります。昨日何をしましたか小説を読みました。あなたの弟は何歳ですか弟は二十歳です。毎日何で会社へ行きますか車で行きます。If it was 毎日車で会社へ行きますかはい、車で会社へ行きます。Now there was a small conversation for you in the previous、uh, lesson. This is The conversation. You can now read the conversation and see if these questions you have answered properly. As they are not very difficult, you can just do it on your own. Well, we just did this word donna in one of the assignments. We have done this series kore. Sore, are, and dore. Kono, sono, ano, and dono. With this, we use noun. Kono hito wa Tanaka san des. Sono hito wa Mariko san des. Ano hito wa Gakse des. So, well, same series. But with a different meaning. We have something over here. Konna, Sonna, Anna, and Donna. So, this is what we are going to do here, and this we will do a little later. Donna, it is a question word meaning. What type of or what kind of? It could be a person, it could be a thing as well. So, well, let us see the conversation here. Rao san wa donna hito desu ka? Rao san wa shinsetsu na hito desu. Instead of shinsetsu, you can use shizuka. Omoshiroi, kirei, kashikoi. So, Rao san wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person is he? Rao san wa shinsetsu na 
hito desu. As we have been doing na adjectives earlier also, just before a noun, in case of a na adjective, na is going to be used. So, you can replace hito over here with kata also, which is more polite and shinsetsu here with any of these na adjectives. Now, you can read over here, you can see donna is an interrogative word, a question word and it means what kind of or what type of and generally it is used when you want more information about a person, a place or a thing and it will always be used with a noun. Now, the example over here is Rao san wa donna hito desu ka? What kind of a person is Mr. Rao? Rao san wa omoshiroi hito desu. Mr. Rao is an interesting person. So, well, you can practice like this. Donna hito desu ka? Can you tell me? Tanaka san wa donna hito desu ka? You can use any of these adjectives over here that we have done so far. Tanaka san wa omoshiroi hito desu. Tanaka san wa shinsetsu na hito desu. Tanaka san wa Shizuka na hito desu. Tanaka san wa teine na hito desu. So, any of these adjectives you can use. Don na hito desu ka. We have also done mashita and masen deshita. So, well, you can look at these pictures and ask your partner what they did yesterday, last week, day before and practice past and past negative form of the verb. Now, let us see this gentleman over here is having his medicine. So, what should the question be? Well, kesa kusuri wo nomimashita ka? Hai kusuri wo nomimashita. Kino kusuri wo nomimashita ka? So, well, if he did not have kino kusuri wo Nomimasen deshita. Now, the second one is Kino shinbu no yomimashita ka? Hai, shinbun o yomimashita. Now, you have the kocha over here, the cup is full. So, asa kocha o nomimashita ka? Iie nomimasen deshita. Then, we have ototoi, pool e. Ikimashita ka? So, hai, pool e ikimashita. Pool de asobimashita ka? Hai, asobimashita. Or if they did not play, asobimasen deshita. And let us see what they have in the end. Benkyo suru. Kino, benkyo shimashita ka? Hai, benkyo shimashita. And if you did not do, well, benkyo shimasen deshita. Rao san, indo wa ima atsui desu ka? Hai, atsui desu. Fuyu wa dou desu ka? Atsui desu ka? Samui desu ka? Fuyu mo atsui desu. Minami indo wa amari samuku arimasen. Ja, ichi nen jiu atsui desu ka? Hai, minami indo wa atsui desu. Demo kita indo wa juri gatsu to ichi gatsu wa samui desu. Ah, so desu ka? So, well, this is very simple. They are talking about the weather. Tenki, tenki, weather. Rao san, indo wa ima atsui desu ka? Hai, it is hot. Fuyu wa dou desu ka? What about winter? Atsui desu ka? Samui desu ka? Is it hot or is it cold? Fuyu mo atsui desu. Winter is also hot. Minami indo wa amari samuku arimasen. South India is not that cold. Ja, ichi nen ju atsui desu ka? All through the year it is hot. Hai, minami indo wa atsui desu. Demo, but kita indo wa juni gatsu. December to January wa 
samui desu. Oh, really? Is that so? We'll do samuku arimasen, amari ya nichinen, ju very soon. This is in the script. You can see. And now we have the explanation for you. This is how you would talk in English. So, it is not a literal translation, it is just what you would say in English. Now, we have done joining two adjectives, I adjectives and I adjectives, I adjectives and na adjectives, na adjectives and I adjectives, na adjectives and na adjectives. Now, we will do negative of I adjective today. So, there is a small conversation over here. Nihon wa oki desu ka? Iie, nihon wa oki ku arimasen. I will show you how it is made. Akai, takai, samui, nagai, oi, shi. Sai. So, what do you have to do for a negative? If you have to make negative for I adjectives, well, you just need to remove this I from here, the last I, as in case of I adjectives, and put ku instead. So, akaku ari masen, takaku ari masen. Samu ku arimasen, nagaku arimasen, oishiku arimasen, and chisaku arimasen. Akaku arimasen means it is not akai, not takai, not samui, not nagai, not oishi, and not chisai. So, this is how it is made. We have the conversation over here. You can practice it. Nihon wa oki desu ka? Iie. Nihon wa okiku arimasen. Now, you can replace Nihon with any of these nouns over here. Ringo kurma doresu. Doresu is dress and hon or any other noun that you want to and replace I adjective with any I adjective that you want. So, for example, Ringo wa oishii desu ka? Iie. Oishiku arimasen. Kuruma wa takai desu ka? Iie takaku arimasen. Dores wa yasui desu ka? Iie yasuku arimasen. Hon wa omoshiroi desu ka? Iie omoshiroku arimasen. And over here, it is a little different. Kuruma wa takai desu ka? So, you want to say it is takai or it was takai. It is not as benri or as convenient as I thought it would be. So, well, kurma wa takakute, this form you have done, and takakute benri de wa arimasen. So, well, this is how you will make for I adjectives. Now, you see a lot of pictures over here. Let us see what it is. Atarashi desu ka? Iie atarashiku arimasen. So, this is an old system probably. Tanaka san isogashi desu ka? Iie isogashiku arimasen. Ima atsui desu ka? Atsuku arimasen. Ima samui desu. Then, these two are busy with their exam. Shiken. Mondai. Mondai is a problem. Mondai wa muzukashi desu ka? Hai, muzukashi desu. Iie, muzukashiku arimasen. Then, shigoto. Work. Working at office. Shigoto wa omoshiroi desu ka? Iie, omoshiroku arimasen. And then we have this cute looking girl, kawaii onna no ko with a huge daikon. Daikon is a radish. So, daikon wa chisai desu ka? Iie, chisaku arimasen. 
daikon wa oki desu. Now, practice negative form of na adjectives. So, well, positive is Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu. And then, Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu ka? Hai, shinsetsu desu. Simple answer in the positive. If Mariko san is not shinsetsu, then what? Iie shinsetsu de wa arimasen. Hai. Hai shinsetsu des. Hai shinsetsu des. But in the negative, iie shinsetsu, shinsetsu de wa arimasen, de wa arimasen. Now, do you remember how de wa arimasen was used in our first and second lessons when we introduced the negative for this? Well, hon des, hon des. Hon des. Hon de wa arimasen. Over here you can write Hon de wa arimasen. It is not a book, it is a book. Shinsetsu des. Shinsetsu de wa arimasen. She is not a very kind person. So, na adjectives and nouns follow a similar pattern. Please remember that. Now, over here you can replace Mariko san with any of this vocabulary, any of these nouns, and shinsetsu can be replaced with any of this na adjectives. Of course, there is des also and there is deva arimasen. So, oksan wa genki desu. Oksan wa genki desu ka? Hai, genki desu. Iie genki deva arimasen. So, well, you can do it in a similar manner with your partner. These are words in hiragana. Now, this pattern we have done ringo wa takai desu, ringo wa amai desu. How do you join two i adjectives with kute over here? So, now ringo wa takai desu, ringo wa amai desu. Ringo wa takakute, amaku arimasen. So, we can join this negative over here with this. It is takai and it is not even sweet. Well, you can replace ringo again with kuruma or ega or any other noun that you want. Kuruma wa takakute, benri de wa arimasen, as we did in our previous slide. Then, ega wa nagakute. Tsumaranai desu. It is very, very long and not at all interesting. Now, you can practice this. You can see this gentleman, Tanaka san, sitting and it is very noisy. There is this phone ringing which is disturbing him. There is this picture where two ladies are talking and that is also disturbing him with a rajikase. And the music ongaku is urusai. Shizuka na basho desu ka? Iie, shizuka na basho de wa arimasen. Urusai basho desu. So, shizuka is quiet and urusai is noisy, which is not pleasant to the ear. Ongaku is pleasant to the ear. But where there is lot of noise, which is not pleasant to the ear, it is urusai. Then there is another picture for you, where we have sensei and kakusei, juji han. And what happens over here? Kras wa omoshiroku arimasen ka? Iie kras wa omoshiroi desu. Class is very, very interesting. Why? Because everybody is smiling and enjoying the class. Now, as we always do, 
we are going to do kanji today also. Simple kanji characters, not very complicated. These words you know, you have done these words and we will try to learn them as kanji characters. So, let us see. Kuni. Kuni means country. Let us see how many strokes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So, it is an eight stroke character and in a box. Now, how it has come into being? A man, a king in fact, tries to keep all his treasures in a closed place, okay. stands up and tries to protect all his treasures and thus country is closed. Okay. So, this is kuni for you. I will make it once again, one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight over here. Then we have karada. Karada means body. So, well, as you know, this is the character for person, hito. So, well, one, two, karada. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, it is a 7 stroke character. Now, we have another one for you which is Yasumi. Very similar, generally we make a mistake with Yasumi and Karada. Well, over here Hito and then just Ki, a person sitting under the tree like this and relaxing. It is a six stroke character. Now, the last one is Nen. Nen means year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 over here. So, it is a six stroke character. Now, why Nen? Because what happens is as we are we were all agrarian society earlier, once a year you sow your grain. So, it takes a certain amount of time to grow to mature and then again next year you sow it at a certain time. Thus, it is associated with grain and that is how it has come into being. I will just show it to you. Ichi ni san yon Go and Roku. So, this is the correct stroke order. Remember this order. Then we have Kuni over here, it is an 8 stroke character as you can see. This is how it is made. Learn this way. Now, you can see this man standing like this, the king, and trying to save his jewels from being stolen away. So, that is how kuni is made. And there is Yasumi, a man sitting under the tree and relaxing. So, this is how Yasumi is. Now, there are some new words with kanji characters, the ones that we have just done and the meanings are given over here. Jintai. Dai Tai, Kyujitsu, Holiday, Hito Yasumi, a short break, Yasumi Chu, shop is closed, Sanen Se. Chugoku, Taikoku, major power. 
Now we have hiragana, you have to learn the stroke order ma. Me, mu. It's very clearly given. Me and mo in the end. So please remember, mo is like this right till here. You have to take it right till the top. and then you have them all in one for you to memorize. Now, you will see over here that the stroke order points this side and the point the tip of the dot is on top. This happens when you use a brush, you just put the brush on the paper and lift it. So, the tip will always be over here at this point. Well, now you have vocabulary, the vocabulary that we did in our lesson, haru, spring, natsu, summer. You can also repeat after me, aki, fuyu, kita, minami. Isogashi, urusai. So, you can also practice at home and as last time we started proverbs which is koto waza in Japanese koto waza. Well, you can see this kame san and you can see a long, 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 long michi which is a road. So, well even a long journey begins with a single step. Sen ri no michi mo ippo yori. Sen is thousand, ri is the measurement how you measure distance, no michi is road mo ippo yori. You have to take the first step even for a very, very long journey. So, your long journey will always begin somewhere with a first step. So, well our journey also of learning Japanese, it has already begun. We have already done quite a few things. We have taken this one step, this single step long, long back and we will do lots more, lot of things we will learn in class. But for that you really have to work hard. Well, now my work ends over here. You have to do the assignments. There are quite a number of exercises that you have to do. The first one is match group A with group B. These are sentences broken make good sentences. Then kanji characters write hiragana and correct reading for it. This time there is something different for you. Well, there is a passage over here I want you to put particles in these blank spaces. So, you will be practicing your particles as well. So, well with this lot of assignment and homework, I leave you here today. Practice all of this at home, do all that we have done so far, revise loudly, revise with your partner and then we will do something new in our next class. Till then, mata aimashou. Arigatou.